There's nothing better that we can do in life than serve other people. And we have elected officials, we have first responders, we have volunteers. Each and every one of you are volunteers. And I thank you for the service that you give to make and keep Cobb beautiful. It's really an honor to be with such a dedicated group today. Your treasures, your talents, your toiling are really what help make this county so beautiful. Working and volunteering the way that you guys do are economic development tools for Cobb County and their quality of life issues for the citizens that live here. According to the US EPA, each and every one of us today and every day generates four and a half pounds of solid waste. But you know, that's only the tip of the iceberg. Each one of us, for our Western lifestyle, it takes nearly 77 pounds of raw materials that are taken from the earth each and every single day to outfit us, to clothe us, to feed us, to get where we're going. Think about that, 77 pounds for each one of us just to live our lifestyle. And only about 9% of that is circular or gets recycled. Think about that, huge, huge amount of waste. I find it remarkable that in my limited time as a chairman, so many of the people that I have come to work with are those recognized today. Starting with uh, Officer Farr. Uh, as many of you know, I do ride-alongs with the police every month, and Officer Farr was uh, at that time at Precinct 1. What many of you don't know about Officer Farr, it is he, uh, he is retired from the United States Army. And the fact that he would retire after a 20-year career in the Army, do something he always wanted to do, was be a police officer, uh, take on another set of responsibilities, and then go beyond, above, above and beyond his duties. Uh, and he is, he is everywhere. And my hat's off to Officer Farr, and also to Chief Register in the Police Department for this unique uh, program they have, community, uh, this community uh, program they have here to get involved with the communities here. And Officer Farr, uh, I just cannot say enough good things about you and your team. So congratulations. Uh, Monica Delancey. Monica is one of those women where you d dare not say no to. You are truly the model of an activist. <laughs> and I have no doubt in my mind that everything you're going to want, we're going to get done. So, but I just also want to make one, uh, one last comment about a young lady named Millie Rogers. Uh, some of you may know or may not know her, but she's one of my three wives. Uh, I have two at work and one at home. And when I get up in the morning, I turn on my iPhone and whatever's on the iPhone, and that's what I do. And that's what Millie tells us. She runs my calendar. But Millie was also unresponsible 34 years ago for going to the county manager and the county deputy manager and arguing for this program. Millie Rogers. And Millie Rogers continues to serve today in ways that I know all of you who know her goes above and beyond. She could easily be retired like Officer Farr could be. But these are people that are committed to this county. And we are the beneficiaries of their spirit of wanting to make this a better place to live. So uh, I just want to make sure that you know, I bring out, you know, I know Millie wouldn't want me to do that, but 34 years later, what I see right here in this county and what Mr. Foote said about this county, um, it's amazing that we have a great county because of the people in this county. Not just the government, but the people. And you represent the people. Uh, you know, you, a lot of you are retired or otherwise, and yet you take the time out of your lives to go out, you know, and keep this county beautiful.